What's up guys, it's Wally, and today we're gonna to be starting a new series talking about weird terror type Pokemon that we encounter and how we can potentially make them competitively viable. And our first Pokemon is going to be this flying type Meowth Persian that we ended up finding, which honestly, I think has some pretty good utility. So we'll get into the video, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here or just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. So the first thing to talk about with Meowth and Persian is its typical typing. So as a normal type Pokemon, it really only has one weakness, which is to fighting, and one immunity, which is to ghost. Granted, this does come at the cost of having offensive advantages, as normal type moves don't hit any type for super effective damage, it is weak to steel and rock type Pokemon, and it isn't able to hit ghost type Pokemon. So for this reason, a lot of people actually think that normal type is actually a really weak typing. However, I will disagree on that, but that's for a different video. Regardless, the main defensive focus of Terrestrialize in this Pokemon is going to be removing that one big weakness to fighting. I really think that Ghost would probably be the best form to Terrestrialize Persian into because fighting isn't going to touch Ghost. However, flying is a pretty good alternative to that because flying does resist fighting type moves. So any team that thinks that they're going to be doing super effective damage into Persian is going to be in for an unpleasant surprise once we Terrestrialize it. The one downside is that Ghost type moves will then be able to hit us. However, that's not really something we're going to have to worry about on that first turn because I don't think they would really be using a ghost type move into what they think would be a normal type Pokemon. Plus, the one benefit too is we're going to be trading one immunity for another. So we're going to be losing, obviously, the ghost immunity. However, being a flying type Pokemon, we do end up gaining that ground immunity as well. Offensively, flying type Pokemon actually do super effective damage against fighting types as well, so really changing our type to flying type really only benefits us from that perspective. Plus, Persian actually has a flying type move in its move pool, so we have a potential to have a stab move other than Terra Blast in our move pool that we can use with Persian. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now that we're a flying type Pokemon, we really have to look at the weaknesses that we just inherited from changing our typing. Flying only has three weaknesses, which are electric, ice, and rock. But thankfully for us, Persian actually has a diverse move pool. Therefore, we actually have counters to each of these typings in the move pool already. And you can kind of see them on this Persian right here. So let's kind of get into a potential build that you might see for a Persian that has that flying Terra type. So obviously we have our Pokemon here, Persian. So if we actually look at its stats, they're not the best stats, you know? It's got HP at 65, defense at 60, special defense at 65, so not really a bulky Pokemon, so it's not going to be out there for too long. Its attack is at 70, special attack is at 65, so honestly, really, that, that's not too bad. So it could actually be a mixed attacker, or if you want to make it one or the other, really you could just EV train it that way. But the biggest benefit here really is its speed at 115. So really, you would probably want to end up maxing out its EVs uh, in speed, for sure. Um, and for me, because, again, you want to make sure that you are going to be the fastest Pokemon out there. You definitely want to make the nature so it's really plus in speed. And for me, I really do kind of want to make it a plus attack Pokemon here. So for me, I would definitely make it Jolly. Um, also, because, again, it's not going to be out there for long. So investing in bulk probably isn't going to be, you know incredibly crucial here. So I would probably end up maxing out the attack as well. Um, really, I'm not one to end up maxing out, uh, you know, EVs in, you know, 252, 252, 4. However, with a Pokemon like Persian, I think this might actually be the best route to go with. So, uh, of course, we have the four extra uh, EVs. With this, really, you know, obviously the guest spread is saying that it goes in special defense, but really, for me, it, it could go in, in kind of anything. But the fact that it's a normal type, really, you're going to see more hits from a defensive Pokemon, but, I mean, you could always end up putting in HP as well. I'm just going to put it up there because, again, it's more important that it's max attack and max speed because, again, you want to be going as fast as possible, and when you get that one hit or those two hits in, then, hey, you know what? You want to be doing it with a max attack. Again, the fact that it really isn't a bulky Pokemon here, I feel like Focus Sash is probably going to be the best item to put on it. Um, there, there's something else that I was kind of thinking about, and I'll get to that in a minute as well. But again, Focus Sash probably is the best item to have on it. Now, its ability, it gets a couple of them, obviously. Um, and these are actually all pretty decent, if you ask me. I mean, Unnerve really isn't that bad. It prevents uh, opposing Pokemon uh, from using their berries. I know that was 
Um, actually, one of the abilities that both the Calyrex has had as well. So that was actually really nice. That way you can prevent Pokemon from either healing up or being able to eat a berry that would limit the damage of a specific move. So that's always nice. Limber is great because it can't be paralyzed. Um, if it ends up gaining it when, you know, it is paralyzed, it actually removes it, which is cool too. But obviously we're not doing skill swap here, so that part doesn't matter. But the one ability that I think would probably best is Technician. So basically what this does is if it ends up using a move that has 60 or less power, it's going to have a one and a half times multiplier on that power. So for instance, with a move like Aerial Ace, which is 60 power, that's actually going to get that multiplier 50%, and it's going to be a 90 power instead. So looking at a possible move set here, like I said, Aerial Ace is the one flying move that it gets. And if you are going to Terra type it into a flying type Pokemon, I think having Aerial Ace would be really incredible, especially with Technician. I mean, we know that Terra Blast, if I'm not wrong, uh, let me see if I can actually find it. Yeah, Terra Blast is an 80 uh, power move. So, and let me put Dig back on here. So Terra Blast is an 80 power move, but Aerial Ace, even though it's 60, if you add in Technician, that's going to do 90 damage. And so when you add in the Stab, that's going to do a lot, well, not a lot, but still more than Terra Blast would have done. And plus Aerial Ace doesn't check accuracy, so you know you're not going to have to worry about a Pokemon if they end up like, you know, up upping their evasiveness or something like that. You don't have to worry about that. Aerial Ace is going to hit no matter what. And again, it's going to be more powerful than Terra Blast. So that would be a really, really nice stab move to have on it, especially if you have Technician. Also, you do have Fake Out as a normal type move. You also kind of get that stab there as well. And you also get the Technician with that too. Um, so that's really cool. Obviously, you can only use that on the first turn, but still... Being able to use that on the first turn and get that damage from the Technician and everything, I think that's really nice as well. Also, kind of what I was talking about with you know, going against its weaknesses, uh, Metal Claw obviously is a uh, Steel-type move. Uh, so that is actually strong uh, against the Ice-type Pokemon as well as the Rock-type Pokemon. So Metal Claw, and plus it being a 50-power move, does get the benefit from Technician too. So that could be a pretty strong move to go against those two Pokemon if you end up seeing them out there. And then of course, Dig is a ground type move. This one is 80 power, so it doesn't get the benefit from Technician, but still I think it's a beneficial move to have on it, um, especially because again, you might end up seeing some uh, electric type Pokemon out there. And if you are your flying Terra type, you need to have something out there to be able to kind of counter that Pokemon. So having something like Dig might be beneficial for you. Now, another idea that I was thinking as well is instead of Fake Out, if you wanted to get a move, uh, a normal type move that would give you Stab that you can use more than just that first turn that you're out there, you can always end up going with a move like uh, Covet. So what Covet may, uh, does is if the, um, if I could go to it, if the user has no item, so if we have no item on, uh, it ends up stealing the target's item. So that could be a nice little cheese sometimes if you're, you know, in competitive play and you kind of want to take an item away from another Pokemon and you can kind of keep it for yourself. Uh, Persian would be able to do that with Covet. Plus, since Covet is a 60 power move with Technician that raises up to 90, plus it is a stab, so that's still going to be hitting pretty darn hard. And being able to steal their uh, item as well, I think is pretty beneficial. In, in that case, you'd probably end up having to remove the Focus Sash or you would end up putting a move on the, or I'm sorry, putting an item on the Pokemon that would end up being either consumed right away or something that would kind of disappear after, after a little while, I guess. So if you did want to have Covet and be able to steal an item from another Pokemon, uh, you could always kind of leave it without an item on it. Maybe not the best way to go, especially since I think Focus Sash, again, would probably be the best item here, but it is another... I guess, potential strategy that you could go with um, just in case you wanted to have a little bit of fun. I, I think that would be a lot of fun. But again, I think Focus Sash and instead of Covet uh, being able to put Fake Out on it, I think that would probably be the best uh, the best thing that you want to go with if you did want to go with a Max Attack Persian. Of course, if you wanted to put a little bulk in it and kind of make it more of a, a defensive Pokemon, I mean, I guess you could. But again, with its attack where it's at and its speed where it's at, Really, you kind of want to max out its attack and be able to hit pretty hard with it. So that's our build for our flying type Meowth in Persian. 
And again, I think this thing is actually pretty cool. I wish it was a ghost type, don't get me wrong, but the flying type is a really great alternative. Again, you really remove your one weakness, which is fighting. Uh, you do have a move in Aerial Ace, which is going to be super effective against that old weakness. And then the new weaknesses that you do have in Electric, Ice, and Rock, you do have coverage for those as well. So I think Persian would be a really great Pokemon for this typing, and one that we actually might have some fun with in the future. So I think this series is going to be a lot of fun. There are so many different typings, and every Pokemon has an opportunity to terastalize. So we're going to be seeing a lot of different weird combinations, and we'll do what we can to make them competitively viable. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, and we'll see you guys next time.